So, issue 324 then, and what have we got here? It's in a different format, and it explains it here. 324 is a perfect square, so it's been made into a square format. Two square pages, by the looks of it. So that means watch out for issue 343, which is a cube number, which presumably means it'll be made up of six sections, which you'll have to fold up into a cube, and then rotate in certain directions in order to read it. So what's the main body again is made up of a review of this time the advanced higher exam, which was actually fair enough. It was quite a straightforward one. Right. So down to this week's puzzle. Help me to fill in the blank using a word which completes a mathematically accurate statement. This sentence contains blankety blank letters. Just to be clear, I'm looking for number numbers written in words. Answers like capital, several, and so on will receive no credit, smarty pants. So here we are then. There's a sentence. This sentence contains blankety blank letters. Now what could it be? Well, first of all, how many letters have we got? Well, that's a four. That's an eight. That's another eight. And that's a seven. So, so far, that means you've got 16, 27 letters. There are 27 letters there. So whatever this number is, it would have to be greater than 27 because you've got to write something down. But how much bigger could it be? It couldn't be something like 100, because 100 would mean you've got over 127 letters, but you wouldn't be using that to write 100. Let's put down the number of letters in the basic numbers. And that means you've got 3, 3, a 5, 4, 4, a 3, 5, 5, and a 4. Notice here the only one that matches is 4. 4 has 4 letters. Still, that's a different question. Now, what about the T's, though? The biggest you could have would be 70. That would have 7 letters in it. So, for a number to put in here, 70 would have 7 letters. 77, 12 letters. Which means putting the biggest number in here under 100, which would be 77, would still only take that up to, because that's 12 letters, would only take up to 39. So that means whatever this is altogether, it's got 27 just now, the final total's got to be less than 39. And the smallest you can put in, because it's already at 27, and a 20 has got 6 letters, so 6 more than that would be, it'd be a 33, wouldn't it? Whatever this number is, it's going to be between 33 and 39 which means it's definitely a 30. So there, I've got another six letters. So, what's this missing one then? Well, that takes us up to 33 letters now, plus one last one. I'll just put a wee X in there. What's the missing word I would put in here? And of course, that stands for the number of letters in that word, so that this sentence is correct. So that that number on to 30, so that if you like 30x, well I'll put x in little brackets because now it's the word I'm considering, not the number of letters in it, so that 30x makes the whole sentence have 33 plus x letters. Well, is it 31? If it was 31, you'd have 36 letters, but it says 31. Is it 32? If it was 32, it would have 36 letters. There you go, 36. You see it straight away. Not straight away because I said those, but anyway. 36. I'm looking for 36 because that would be three letters. 33 plus 3 makes 36. And 36 says 36. So that's it, done. Of course, that was silly just stopping there. Once I hit 36, well, there were still a couple of other possibilities to explore. So those were the three-lettered words. What about the four-lettered words, which would make 37 then? Well, that means I would have to have a four-lettered word that actually said 37. That's got five, so that's not going to work. A five-letter word that would make the total 38. Well... 37's got five letters, and 8's got five letters, so there you are, 8's another one. 38 would also work. 38 
and 33 and 5 is 38, so it could also be 38 letters. That being a 6 and a 5. So those would be the only solutions then, according to the wording of the problem, which was it had to be just a number. But you could have any of the sorts of solutions if you were to allow combinations of numbers, operations of numbers, functions of numbers, squares and square roots. For instance, if you wanted to find something, you could pick numbers like less 1, less 3, less 5, go on and on and on. What would that be? Some number less 1. Well, less 1's got 7 in it. With the original 27, that makes it up to 34. So what could I put in here? So there was one less, a 40 would work. Because 40's got 5 letters in it. 5 and 34 is 39. And 40 less 1 is 39. But you could go on and on doing that. The other thing you could do would be, that's got 7 letters in it and it makes 39. So if I was to up that to 8, Eight letters, it would make 40, so you could replace that with positive. I'll put it at the front. Mm. If I was to write, it contains positive 40 letters. That would also work, because that's 8 and 5, that's 13. Mm. On to the 27 makes 40. I suppose negative has also got 8 letters, but you haven't got a negative number of letters. But you could put that in, as there is in the newsletter, if you were to change them to their negatives instead of being black on white, change it into white on black, etc, etc. But these are the two, though, that would solve the problem as stated.